What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be trying to fix the TIG welder. I just pulled this gnarly screw out of one of my inner duels on my truck. So now that is good to go. I was wondering, I had this weird vibration and I didn't know what it was. And I checked the air pressure today. It happened like a couple of days ago. And I think it's just been losing air. It still had like 20 PSI of air in it which I usually run them at 60 PSI. So put a plug in it and now it's at 60 PSI again and uh, we're good to go. So I need to reprogram the TPS, TPMS sensors in there, but I just, I just haven't done it. So now that screws out, my truck is good to go and I shouldn't have any more issues. It's just like, look at that thing. It was just smashed in there. I thought it was like a chunk of steel because that's all I could see. And I was like, oh no. But when I pulled it out, I knew I was all right to plug it. So uh, yeah, that's kind of a, it's kind of sketchy because you don't know what's gonna be on the other side of that. If it's too big, you can't plug it and you just have to get like a new tire. So we're gonna try to diagnose this TIG, try to figure out what's going on with it, why it won't work. It's, uh, I need the TIG so I can make the FC exhaust. Once I have the TIG running, I could bust the FC exhaust out. That thing's gonna be nice, that's gonna be quiet. So let's figure out what's wrong with this thing, or at least try to figure out what's wrong with this thing and uh, kind of go from there. But I think it should be pretty simple because it did work six years ago before I left to Minnesota and it hasn't been used this whole time. Just the only thing was mice inhabited it. So I don't think it'll be that big of an issue. So let's get to work on this thing, try to figure it out. And I will keep you guys updated on the whole diagnostic process. So I jumped the foot pedal. I'm guessing that the foot pedal is not the issue. It seemed like when I jumped it, it did the exact same thing. One thing I did notice was this guy right here seems to get extremely hot. And uh, I pulled the covers back off, looked over everything once again, all the wires look like they're intact. It doesn't look like anything is leaking. One thing I did notice though, that I didn't notice before, the green wire right there is a ground. For some reason, so there was a mouse nest on the other side of that. Some reason, mice pee is extremely, extremely corrosive, which if there is no ground, this machine, it might have enough ground to turn on, but it might not have enough ground to actually strike an arc. This wire looks super corroded, so I'm gonna pull that off, clean it up, see if I can clean it up. I may have to shorten the lead a little bit and uh, put the, you know, reattach all the wires, the, uh, you know, white, red, um, green, and black. So uh, green is always ground, white is neutral. Um, they're using red, well, I guess it kind of depends on how they have it wired up, but uh, usually white is neutral, green is ground, and uh, black and red would be then be 120. So 120 each, which is um, 240. But we uh, are gonna clean this up. Hopefully we can resolve this issue. It could just be that it is uh, corroded on that ground. There's not enough ground to actually strike an arc. And uh, once I do create a ground good enough to strike an arc, the machine may actually work again. So we're gonna try this. Hopefully it fixes it because I can't really see anything else that could be causing the issue. Just got back from the store. What I did was went and got brand new lugs since the ground lug was seized and I could not get it undone. I decided to just replace all of them. I also got some wire cutters. So now I'm going to redo the power wires in.
Just finished redoing the leads coming into the machine. And when I turn it on, it seems like the fan comes on a lot stronger. So you could tell that the ground wire did have some corrosion on it. I'm not exactly sure what that was from, but now it is all fixed and new. We do know that there's power coming in and making it to the switch and making it to the fan. Now I need to figure out why the HF circuit is not actually engaging. Pulled the main relay off and this wire was not connected. I'm guessing something, maybe a mouse, maybe just time moving it around. It may have just came off. What I'm gonna do is reattach that wire. So the welder does look like a disaster right now. Just hooked everything up to test it. Tomorrow I want to actually put riv nuts in a lot of the spots. It has a lot of through screws with nuts and washers. There's a bunch of washers, bunch of nuts, bunch of screws that are just redundant. So I'm gonna throw some riv nuts in the fiberglass isolators panels. And uh, after that, I could throw it back together. I did figure out what the issue was. I'm not exactly sure if it is mouse related. It, uh, I'm guessing it must be, they must've just crawled on this wire and uh, it just fell off. It's uh, pretty, pretty simple. There is, I don't know if you can see it back there, but this, where is it at? There's a, I think my finger's right on it. There's a contact back there. There's one wire coming off of it, but there's supposed to be two connected to it. There is a wire kind of just hanging right there. You can almost see it. You can see the silhouette of it right, right above my finger right there. There's that wire. It's not connected to anything. It's supposed to be connected to that wire above it. And that's the reason the welder is not actually triggering. That goes through a coil that pretty much just triggers the whole system. So it's it, the first relay is for the foot pedal. Well, actually, technically it is the third relay is for the foot pedal. And then that, when you trigger that, it energizes through that coil and triggers both the other relays. So the, you know, the welder actually strikes an arc and everything. So I just tested it, it struck an arc, everything is good to go. I just don't like how there are so many different little screws and everything. So the plan is I'm gonna throw some riv nuts in this thing tomorrow. I don't wanna do it today, it's actually pretty late already. So I'm gonna throw some riv nuts in it tomorrow, get it all buttoned up, get it back together. The TIG welder will be 100% working. The regulator and the cup, I thought they would be here already, but I'm guessing it's it's already Wednesday, so they'll probably be here, hopefully Friday, maybe Monday. We'll see what happens. But once I get those, the welder is working, I'll bring the FC in. A lot of people have been wondering what's going on with the FC, why I haven't done the exhaust. This is the reason. I've been trying to fix this welder. Now that the welder is functioning, it uh, it will be it will be back together tomorrow. But now that it's functioning, I could you know tack the exhaust up throw, you know, weld it all together, throw it on the FC. The FC will have this really sick exhaust. Well, hopefully it comes out good. Hopefully it comes out as good as I had pictured in my mind. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad my welder works again. So these things right here, they're dinosaurs, but they usually never go bad. I mean, it takes a lot for one of these to actually go out or go bad. I mean, they were built to last, it's not like the new stuff that's built to break, but um, you know, this thing is, I don't even know how old it is, but I've had it for like eight years already. So, and it has to be older than that. So we are gonna put this together tomorrow, like I've said before, but uh, yeah, let's uh, clean some stuff up. And then uh, I'm, just, I'm just excited that this thing actually is gonna work again. Pretty much got everything cleaned up that I wanted to clean up. And uh, this is gonna be another short video I've been pretty busy today, so I uh, really haven't filmed too much for this video, but I filmed stuff for other videos, so you guys will be pretty pumped, I think, in the next couple days. And since the welder is now gonna be fixed and uh, put back together in the next video, I should be able to do the FC exhaust sometime next week. So the people that are waiting for FC content, it's coming, don't worry, I haven't forgot about you, I just have been trying to fix this welder to weld the exhaust, I need the welder. So 
we will be doing FC stuff and well next week we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff it seems like I'm gonna be bringing a car down to the shop finally we're gonna be taking the Hellcat to the dealership to get the key programmed and stuff I'm gonna be doing the exhaust in the FC and uh, I think I'm gonna be doing some stuff with uh, with some other cars so we'll we'll see I want to bring another car down here I'm not exactly sure which one it is it may be the uh, um, it's in between three car actually it's in between four cars it's uh, either the VR4 the blue coupe the 240z or the fd so i gotta flip like two quarters and then i gotta flip like like another quarter to figure out which ones i'm gonna bring i guess i don't know i gotta i gotta figure out soon i really want to get the vr4 done that is kind of you know in in my mind and and uh, i want to actually have it completed so that may be priority but i also want to get the blue coupe done but that is kind of a big project and I kind of want to get some of the other parts kind of lined up for it and uh, I need to do the whole front so maybe I could do the whole front and get the car fully repainted but I might as well just finish the 3000 GT so probably the 3000 GT you guys you know I need I need to do some stuff with the ABS delete finally on that paint the calipers get the the doors done and side skirts and stuff like that so we're going to be getting some stuff done hopefully next week is a very productive week and uh thanks for watching the videos subscribe if you're not subscribed throw a comment below thumbs up see you guys tomorrow